Hey there, Sharon here from Quick Base Junkie coming to you from my home office. The following video is all about navigation buttons, creating navigation buttons in your Quick Base to take you to where you want your users to be. These videos are taken directly out of a premium course called The Secrets of API Buttons. Welcome to Quick Base Junkie. I help QuickBase builders learn fast to deliver more. The Secret of API Buttons is a premium course that I offer to my students that takes you through how to create API buttons in your QuickBase, which is awesome. So awesome. I've got lots of examples right here on YouTube that you can check out of exactly how you can use API buttons. Although I have to be frank, I don't show you the nitty gritty details of how to develop those formulas. That information, my friends, is in the course. And if you want to get into that course, head over to quickbasejunkie.com slash courses. The course, let me tell you, not only do I walk you through everything step by step, detail by detail, making what is, can be very confusing, actually very simple. Plus, I've got lots of downloads and cheat sheets, so you can literally copy and paste the code that I share and build with you directly into your own QuickBase. Uh, enjoy this video on navigation buttons. It will surely help you build out your QuickBases and make them even more awesome than they are today. Back in the Simple Project Manager QuickBase, I've added two more URL buttons in order to go to a report. Let's take a look at the first one. This first formula is set up to display a report from the same table. So utilizing the URL root, followed by the action of Q, remember that's for query, and the QID or query ID. The query that I'm gonna use here or the report is report 60. Now this will show a report from the same table that this button is located. So you'll see now I'm on the task table and I'll click on the task report button. I've now been taken to a report on the task table for report number 60, which in this case happens to be overdue tasks by project owner. Let's jump back to our form. Looking at our next go to report button, we can see this one is set up to display a report from another table. In this case, I've got the table alias for the projects table, which happens to be called DBID client, even though it's the project table, that was the original name when someone created this QuickBase, and set the action to query and the query ID to query six. So now I'll go ahead and press this project report button. And you can see I've jumped over to the projects table and I'm now displaying report number six. This happens to be the project's timeline. So there's two examples of how you can jump to a report either in the same table or a different table within the same app. Time for another matching game. Pause the video to match the desired action for a report destination to the URL formula. All right. That was an easy one, but in case you didn't get it, the answers are in the bottom corner. Let's break these down one by one. To display a report from the same table, we'll use the URL root and the DBID function. Combine that with the action Q. Remember, Q stands for query or report. And then we'll add the query ID for the report. It's that simple. Next, to display a report from another table, we'll start with the URL root, but then use the table alias for the other table, followed by our action and the query ID. And if you need a little help setting up your URL formula as a button, check out the video URL formula button setup. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and subscribe using the link below. You can also drop me a comment and let me know what you thought and what you enjoyed the most. And then head over to quickbasejunkie.com to grab one of those free downloads. <laughs> Bye for now. Using the link below. Using the link below. Bye for now.